As you may know, traumatic brain injury is a result of a blow to the head that affects the function of the brain. Up to 1.4 million Americans suffer from traumatic brain injury per year. Most traumatic brain injuries are mild, but some of that could be moderate or severe. Traumatic brain injury is a most common cause for adults to suffer from extended disability or permanent disability. This is a small model of the brain. Our brain is a jelly-like substance that's inside a very strong bony shell, which is our skull. After any trauma to the head, whether or not this bony shell is broken, the brain could suffer anywhere from bleeding to a variable degree of swelling. Days later, or even hours later, this swelling may get much worse because of the inflammation that happens secondary to the trauma. Our treatment paradigms is mostly directed towards treating this inflammation and this swelling and the pressure that goes higher and higher inside the brain. We try different medications and we tightly control the blood pressure and the blood sugar to prevent this inflammation and to treat this swelling. Sometimes we have to put certain catheters inside the brain to measure this pressure a minute to minute. After a while, there may be a need for surgery. This swelling and this high, pre high pressure inside the head may lead to damage of areas that were not initially affected by the trauma.